we are back with more card reveals for the great dark beyond this is kill jaden really important character of the lore if you don't know but i'm not gonna get into that i'm not a i'm not a warcraft lore guy go look up a video whatever um so kill jaden seven mana seven seven demon battle cry replace your deck with an endless portal of demons each turn they gain an additional plus two plus two so of course this is supposed to go like synergize with warlock i get that they put it in standard but like it's it's for warlock you have that other seven drop that's in warlock that will summon all demons that didn't start in your deck this game that you've played so goes really well with kill jaden it is a demon itself so you can get more copies of it with kill jaden uh and then kill jaden well because you're in warlock you get to draw two cards every turn uh because of the hero power so you're gonna get like a lot of value from the demons random demons are pretty okay if i remember correctly of standard uh i think it will give you demon hunter demons as well and like other classes of demons so that's good uh but the main like draw of this card of course is that like demon uh like didn't start near deck demon package they're putting in warlock you have the elemental that will reduce all demons that you uh reduce all demons that didn't start in your deck by two or what one but you have two copies of it so I'll do it by two uh i think that like kill jaden might be good enough for that package i kept saying that like the cards overall in that package looked okay we just didn't really see any of the generators yet but this looks not terrible uh the thing is is that like yes the turn you play kill jaden it's a war golem that does nothing the turn after you play kill jaden it's kind of a war golem that gets you like an okay minion but every turn past that one your minions are like plus four plus four plus six plus six plus eight plus eight so they get huge you summon a larger and larger demon so i can summon an even larger demon it's like jades uh it is very similar to jade idol do not get me wrong uh, the thing is, is that, like, unlike Jade Idol, you're not playing Druid, so you don't have, like, broken Druid cards, but like Jade Idol, it's just free scaling into the late game, you know, yeah, you could get some bad demons, but, like, so what? You have infinite in Fatigue, if you are, if, um, you're playing, like, Sargeras, you have, like, infinite demons from Sargeras as well, I think that, like, I don't know. I like Kill Jaden a lot. I'm going to play this card. I don't. Is it going to be broken or anything? Probably not, but I do think it's really fun, and I am excited to play it. All right, we're going to go through a big dump of neutral cards as well. Galactic Crusader. 7 mana, 3, 9. Drain Eye, Taunt, Death Rattle. Get two random holy spells that cost three less. I'm going to rapid fire these. This card's probably not good enough in either format. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, maybe, maybe in standard it's okay, because there are a lot of really strong like holy spells in standard that you can see here. Uh, I'm not going to go over them. But in Wild, this card's obviously terrible. It's way too slow. I'm just going to move to the next card, which is actually really strong. Eridar Brute, 7 mana, 5, 6 demon. Taunt, lifesteal, cost one less for each enemy minion. This card is really strong. It's Rabble Bouncer, but minus one health, plus two attack, has lifesteal. And is a demon, but whatever. This card is going to see play in Wild. This is straight up going to see play in Wild in a lot of decks. Standard probably sees some play as well, I'm going to be honest. It's probably a lot better in Wild, though. I don't see a world where this card isn't played in at least one of the formats, though, so I do think this card will be really strong. A uh, Lunar Trailblazer. 5 mana, 6, 4, Drain Eye. Set the cost of a random spell in your hand to this minion's cost. People are joking about playing this with, like, Tsunami and Standard. I don't know if this is really that good. Uh, if you play the 5 mana Mage Drain Eye that has Battle Cry, your next Drain Eye refreshes mana equal to its attack. This is probably pretty good for like a big spell mage if that works like a drain eye based big spell mage maybe that's something they're trying to push i don't really think so i don't think this card's that good overall star scale con or constellar five mana four seven dragon spell burst devil's minions attack this card's probably terrible it looks like a pack filler arena card it's probably really good as in paladin arena but otherwise doesn't seem that good uh deep space curator three mana two four spell burst get a random minion of the spell's cost set it to zero again i don't see this card really doing anything it's kind of like a giant negative tempo uh loss to play unless you're playing like a five or more mana spell this kind of doesn't really do much and then well you have to play them together for like eight mana or something because it's obviously not going to live just doesn't seem that good i'm going to be really honest with you i don't think this card does anything in either format so yeah uh crimson commander three mana four three drain eye battle cry and death rattle give all drain eye in your hand plus one plus one this card looks actually very promising this is a lot of hand buff for a three mana card there is a real world this does see uh see play as long as we have good enough drain eye like in paladin and hunter that makes sense to be buffed uh hand buff cards are just 
always better in Paladin and Hunter, and sometimes Warrior and sometimes Death Knight, but typically Paladin and Hunter make the best use of these. Uh, it's likely we will see at least Drain Eye and Paladin, because, well, there are a lot of Drain Eye and Paladin. There's only one Drain Eye in Hunter, and it's a uh, mystery winner. It's a one mana, one one, discover a secret. So I do, th I think there's a world where this is a really good card in Paladin, though. Urzul Rager, 3 mana, 5, 1, Demon, Lifesteal, Spellburst, Attack a Random Enemy. I mean, this card's kind of not that good. It's just like a meme pack filler card. It's like a title... Oh gosh, what's it called? Title Fusion? There's a three, there is a 3 mana nature spell in Shaman that is uh, Lifesteal, deal 5 damage to a minion. I forget what it's called. It's from Angoro, where it's been buffed twice. It used to be 4 mana, deal 4, and then now it's... Like, th now it's 3 mana, deal 5. I think it was 4 mana, deal 5, then 3 mana, deal 5. So, that card doesn't see any play. I don't see Urzul Rager doing anything ever. It's just like a meme card. It's probably good off Kill Jaden. Because it'll be like a 7-3 at the minimum. But, it's not that great. Uh, Crystal Welder. 2 mana, 2-3 two, Taunt, Battle Cry. If you're building a starship, gain plus 2, plus 2. What that means is, like, if you've played a starship piece uh, and had it die, this card is a 2 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, sorry, 2 mana, 4, 5 with Taunt. I think this card sees play in Standard. I think this is a really strong card. I, I already think that Starships are really good. So getting a 2 mana, 4, 5 with Taunt just for doing something you already want to do, I think this card definitely sees play. In Wild, I'm not sure about Starships at all, but I think this would go in Starship decks anyway. Uh, Astrobiologist, 2 mana, 2, 2, Drain Eye, Battle Cry. At the start of your next turn, discover a spell. This card is probably good enough for Standard. A lot of decks like to be able to discover spells really efficiently like this. It's a Drain Eye, so you can play all your other Drain Eye cards with it. I think this card probably sees play in Standard. Uh, like, it's kind of like, uh... There's the 3 mana, 2, 4, discover a spell. If an undead died after your last turn, it cost you less. That was in March of Lich King. This is similar to that. Instead of discounting, it's just cheaper. So I think, like, it's a give and take. I think this card will see play, though. And then lastly, Astral Vigilant. 1 mana, 1, 1, Battlecry, get a copy of the last Drain Eye you played. This card will likely see play depending on, like, what powerful Drain Eye there are. If there are good Drain Eye legendaries that you want to, like, get more copies of, this card will definitely see play. I'm really surprised they printed this. Like, actually very surprised because, like, there's no way in the future there isn't some kind of Drain Eye that, like, really loves this, like, in the next two years, or I guess next year of this card's existence. I feel like there's no way in Standard that it won't do something. In Wild, yeah, there's probably nothing great, like, right now, or maybe not for, like, a couple years, but eventually there'll probably be something that you're really happy to play a 1-1 one -one to get a copy of it for. And then, the last card of today is Ethereal Oracle. 3 mana, 2, 3. Spell damage plus 1. Spell burst, draw 2 spells. This card definitely sees play. Oh my good lord, look at this card art. I know, right? The, the signatures of this expansion look amazing. This card definitely sees play. Like, how would it not? Spell burst, draw 2 spells. I mean, the spell damage plus 1 is nice and all. Don't get me wrong, but it's a 3 drop that draws you 2 spells. After you've played a spell. This will go so well in so many different decks. A lot of different decks are going to like this. I can't tell you right off the top of my head what's going to do it. I'll be honest with you. But there's so many classes that don't have good ways to tutor spells. So a card like this really, really adds up. Because there are classes that need to have good ways to tutor spells and don't have them. So this card definitely helps. Hunter will love this card in standard, I think. Uh, I, I, This card's just really good. I'm going to be so honest with you. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell me things down below. What do you think about these cards? I know I rapid-fired them, but we're going through neutral cards. A lot of them are pack filler, so I didn't really want to get that in-depth on them. Uh, can, can, he, can he blame me? I'm going to be honest with you. I just didn't care about... I don't care about these neutral cards that much. I'm really just waiting for Monday, because Monday, the 14th, is Hunter Day. And I really am excited to see the Hunter cards of this expansion. The art's probably going to be beautiful on the signatures. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Shadows are rising again! Darker than they've ever been As evil descends from the skies The world cries out How will we survive? Out of the hollow they explode